Did you know on average about 70% of online orders are abandoned before someone fully checks out from your store? I know you're working hard to streamline your store and remove every possible obstacle that a shopper can come across and we love it, but let's get real. Even if your site is perfect, the phone is gonna ring, the dog will need to be let out, kids are gonna bust in the front door. All kinds of things will happen that will distract your shoppers from actually checking out and becoming a customer. The other thing, folks are gonna to come to your store and start tossing items into their cart to come back and buy later. It's a huge trend these days. Now, to be proactive, we've got a solution that can help get those customers back and convert them into buyers. It's called the Abandoned Cart Saver. Typically, our clients see around 15% of their abandoned carts turned into orders with this automated tool. And that can add up to a bunch of revenue in the long run, even if you're just starting out. So depending on your plan, you may already have access to the abandoned cart saver. If you don't have this feature, you're definitely gonna wanna scope it out when your business is ready to grow. It's a great addition. Now, this tool is stellar and it's gonna help you generate revenue you would have otherwise lost completely. So what business owner doesn't want that? So what is an abandoned cart exactly? An abandoned cart happens when someone starts the checkout process and doesn't actually finish. It's around step two, which again, this all happens around 70% of the time. Once that email address has been collected, the abandoned cart saver will automatically email clients and invite them back to make their purchase. You can even include a coupon if you really want to entice someone to come back and buy. It's simple and has a great return on investment. Every business is gonna be a little bit different in how they set up their abandoned cart emails. Hop into your control panel and go to Marketing Abandoned Cart Notifications. Again, if you don't have this feature, you'll just need to go ahead and upgrade when you're ready to take your business to the next level. You'll see here that you can add yet another message to the lineup and you have a link to a rad resource that will help you understand the functionality of this feature. I really recommend checking it out. Below, you'll find the recommended cadence of your emails for abandoned cart. These work really well for clients out of the box. However, you can make changes based on client feedback or the research you complete for your targeted audience. Every business may tweak slightly to accommodate their specific customer base. Now you can simply click right here to edit. You'll have all the controls that you need to customize this email. As you can see, we've helped you out a bunch by providing you some pre-made copy to work from. From here, simply use the WYSIWYG editor to adjust as needed. You can go ahead and add images or video, whatever you want to include to help boost your brand. You can add a coupon code that you've created by simply selecting it here. If you'd like to shut off the email, you can do so right here. Finally, you can adjust the timing for this email. If you're a beginner, we'd recommend leaving things just as is. And just so you know, you can tweak them down the road once you have the confidence to do so. Now here are some tactics to help you get started and seem to work really well for most of our clients. For your first email, remind them what they've left behind and keep your copy on brand. Abandoned cart emails are a bonus for marketing and a great conversion opportunity. Do not slack off. Spend some time crafting copy that reflects your branding and your voice. Now for your second email, include a coupon or special offer. Well, this is a great debate among online businesses, but take it for a test drive and see if a coupon or special offer works for your business. Now for your third email, just rinse and repeat. Feel free to include any or all elements from the above or try something brand new. This is a final email reminder and you can even include a survey to get feedback for later on and make adjustments down the road. If you want even more ideas about Abandoned Cart, visit some of your favorite online stores as well as your competitors. Throw some items in the cart and then start that checkout process. Then, all you gotta do is wait for some Abandoned Cart emails to roll your way. You can take a look at their tactics, see what you like, what you don't like, and then make some decisions from there. So, I think that should be plenty to get you started with the Abandoned Cart Saver. Please remember, it's a great tool to help you earn back revenue you would have otherwise lost entirely. And the best part is, it's pretty darn simple. So keep watching Big Commerce University for more tips to help you convert shoppers into buyers.